All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. A lot of people have been asking me, Jay, when are you going to drop the center bill? We need the center bill, my guy. Don't worry about it. I got y'all, and I got you right after this. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, for those of y'all that have been waiting on the center bill, man, I got you, I've got you, I got you. I did a little video on this thing right here, man, because there were so many things that um that I, I just wanted to talk about. I wanted to get clear, and uh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to uh, make sure you guys completely understood what it is that I'm doing. So here we go, NBA 2K21. I also got some new technology that I'll be showcasing a lot next year. Um, but you know, a lot of people I gotta do it, I gotta do it the day before before anybody else does it, man. But anyway, first thing you wanna do, man, a lot of people gonna ask me this right here. Jay, should I do this? What? Right here. Center. Do I wanna make a center? Why would I wanna make a center? Am I going to want to make a center? And the answer is to me, yeah. Yeah, you definitely gonna wanna make a center, man. And the reason that I believe that you're gonna to wanna to make a center is simply because of this right here. Interior defense, right here. I feel like if you don't got interior defense, you're gonna be at a little bit of a loss, man. And, and this is what a center's out here for. You're not out here to chase the three line. You're not out here to do all this other stuff. You're not out here to, you, bro, you out here to be a center. And, and play basketball. Now we're gonna, we gonna help you all out if you wanna chase the three line, if you wanna do some stuff like that. That's gonna be fine if you wanna be able to help on the perimeter, all that good stuff. I've got all the things in the bill that are going to help you out, but I just feel like your first, your very first uh, line of, of responsibility or what have you as a center is, 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 bro, you a center. And if as a center, you gotta defend the paint. So speaking of defending the paint, we're gonna roll that back real quick. Hey, look, this is the pie chart that we're going to take. We're going to take the defensive, this this pie chart right here, man. The defensive and um, shooting pie chart. It is what it is, man. Like, like I, I, that, that's something of, of, of course you had no doubt. Now, next up, you're gonna take this pie chart right here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the speed. The, the only thing I'm worried about is, is primarily speed and primarily strength. And with those two things, you can't go wrong as a center. And the only reason I'm saying let's do strength this time around, I look, I, I'm, I've always been a big proponent of strength. Some people have not been a big proponent of strength, but it appears that your boy Mike Wong has chimed in on this already, and he's telling you, look, man, this is from this is directly from a um, what it was a blog or what have you, and it just says, after playing a demo version, I found that the collision volume of the players in NBA 2K21 has become much more real and the phenomenon of uh, the phenomenon of mold wear has become much less and i don't i don't know what he said what he said, what he said the mold wear I, bro, I don't know it's, it's it's translated or what have you uh behind behind this what effort what effort has the production team put in and it just says many players have have responded to this question this time we added 50 70 penalty area against layup animations and dribble collisions in this in in the collision this year and we i mean but in the collision this year we hope to put strength of players the strong players can easily squeeze the defender bro i don't even know what that means all i mean I, I just read that to me strength actually is supposed to matter this year the main thing that i care about strength mattering for though i don't really care about strength mattering on offense or whatever like it's always i'm a big man strength has always seemed to matter on offense for us uh, the main thing that I that I really want strength to matter for is so that we can uh so that we can play better defense, get body ups on the perimeter, and all of that stuff right there. Now, going right into it, like I said, man, the reason that I made uh made what I made was uh because you get more defensive badges, number one, you get more interior defense, and I just feel like you're gonna be a center, you can't you can't defend the rim, you're useless. Right here, max out, you're gonna wanna max out everything in defense except for steel so max out everything first come back to steel you want 54 points 
in steel. The reason that you want 54 points in steel is because of this right here. You put 54 points in steel, then you can get 22 defensive badges without having to max out steel. And as everybody knows, everybody can steal the ball on this game anyway. I'm not planning on getting any own ball steals. The only thing I'm really planning on getting is the, um, is you know, uh, in the passing lane steals. And for that, you don't, you don't need a max steal. Up next, you know, you want to max out everything. You're going to max out everything here. Everything on shooting. Take one point off of post phase. Now, if y'all watched my video earlier this year, uh, you already know how I feel about the post phase and stuff like that. You're going to be able to be a better center and all of that stuff because uh, you'll be able to post fade and do stuff like that. But the reason that you will be able to do it is because there's no timing. Uh, there's no there's, there's just no timing on, on uh, the post phase anymore. Just holding the stick down. Last but not least, man, this is what we're going to do. We're coming here. And now uh, we're going to max out standing dunk. I know a lot of people don't want to max out standing dunk, man. It is what it is. I think it's cool uh, if you want to. I just feel like if I, if I get down there and I need to go straight up, I want to be able to go straight up on somebody and um, and and not not necessarily on somebody, but I should be able to go. I, I want to be able to feel comfortable that when I catch the ball in the paint with two feet and there's not really anybody around, I can at least throw it in there uh, quick enough. You could really, honestly, and um, truthfully, you could really do these any way you want to, man. You're not going to be like this. I think this is probably your most important stat right here is uh, shot close. And then you got your um, your standing dunk. That's probably those are probably your most important joints, man. This right here, these two driving dunk, driving layup. I mean, it's in the 50s, man. This is a turd, bro. This is it's, it's a turd. It's poo. It is what it is, man. Look, I don't think it's gonna help you out a whole lot. I don't think it's gonna hurt you. I had my guy I was playing with Berg yesterday, and we literally were playing on the twos yesterday, and he's going to the rim when he had an open layup and all of that stuff, and uh, he had his center. A 57 layup, 55 layup and stuff like that. So I really don't think that's going to be something that's that's going to be that bad. But however you want to do it, do it however you want to do it by all means. Look, man, this is something that y'all probably want to know about. Let's back that up, man. Look, the body style. Come on, man. You already know what the body style is, man. The fine. Come on. Need I say more? Come on, man. Y'all know my, y'all know my. Need I say more? The body style is gonna be defined because that's my real life. That's my, man, that's my real life body style, man. I'm gonna do that, man. Always gonna be defined. Up next, uh, you know, then we got we gonna move right along to the height. I think this is a secret sauce right here. You can go 6'10, 6'11. I'm going 6'11. You see right here, 6'11. You go 6-11, you, you lose two points in interior defense, right? We're going to make those back up. But it's a, your interior defense is an 80 at 6-11. If you go down to 6-10, you go down, bro, you're down to 78 now. I, I, I don't want that. I don't want 78. I don't want that. I feel like, like I said, my biggest thing is me being a center, I want to be somebody who's reliable and, uh, you know, defending the paint. So I'm gonna go with 611. Yes, you do take a little shot on, on shooting right here. This three ball is gonna be a 68, but it's a strategic 68. You can adjust your arms and stuff like that. But plus four, it'll be a 72. I feel like 73. You got you got um uh what's the other thing? You got you got uh, uh floor general and all that stuff, and you'll be good to go. Weight, weight, max weight, and the reason that I say max weight is simply because of this. One more time. That right there. Strength goes up to 94 with your plus four, plus five. You're gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Plus four, plus five, bro. You're gonna be around 99 strength. That's where you're gonna be at right here. 99 strength. That's what you're gonna want. So people can't push you around in the paint. You can do stuff on the perimeter. Some people would say that uh that 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 strength always matter for centers because this year, like I said, a guard probably can hold you on the perimeter, but if a center made contact with you on the perimeter, that's why I go max weight. Um, also, one more thing I forgot to tell y'all this you get plus nine here, so you get plus nine. So when you get plus five, um, you know, you get plus nine, you're gonna lose nine. You, you did lose nine right here, but I ain't worried about that on the perimeter. I got 50 perimeter defense. Um, that should be enough to get a hand in somebody's face or whatever. Some people might want to put that all the way down and not, but I got to, I didn't want people to be able to shoot in my face last year, so it is what it is. So, you got like I said, interior defense, you got 
almost 90 interior defense plus five you're gonna be at like 94 or something like that bro you're gonna be good to go but like we said with strength supposedly mattering this year that's the main thing that i'm looking for man if strength matters and like we said me and t always said last year wingspan we're gonna leave that uh neutral but because you lose too much on on up or down i really didn't care for it but if like we said this year this year if you had a center on you and that center was leaning on you and you as a guard tell me how tired you got real quick tell me how how uh not only how tired you got real quick but tell me how you 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 uh just ran out of energy and then you just couldn't get by him if, if a center was able to make contact with you. You might be able to step back, step back twice, but sometimes it just didn't matter, man. And the piece, the piece to resist stones, man, this right here. Glass take. The reason I'm doing glass take this year instead of lock take is just, it's, it's, it's really this simple, man. Glass take, you get access to so many more stupid rebound the additions you're already gonna get your plus 10 off of just playing defense anyway once you get you know once you get up there but with the glass take man you get the you get the the biggest smalls joint you know you get the certain animations where you can just 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 I, I don't know just push people out the way do whatever you want to and you getting boards and stuff like that so that's what I did man and uh you know I took glass take just because I felt like that was gonna be the most reliable takeover and with glass take man you know we ended up, we go forward, and the builder says, you have made yourself a glass cleaning lockdown. The likes of what? Hey, bro, look here. I don't know what this is, but Ben Wallace was not a shooter. He was a glass cleaning lock. These two, hey, we might be all right. You might, you, you get a check mark for these two guys. But Ben Wallace, uh-uh, no, no, no. No, not the shades of Ben Wallace. Shades of everybody else, though. You get a check mark for this. So kudos to uh, kudos to 2K for those two guys. But anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe for more daily 2K content, bills, best jump shots in the game, all of this stuff, man. One of the only people in the 2K community actually doing something different. <laughs> Everybody, they just trip me out and everybody say, I'll do something different. Bro, everybody doing the same thing. We all do build videos. We all just playing. We all doing the same thing. But this is actually something different. I just wanted to showcase that stuff, man, because I'm going to be doing some in-depth breakdowns when the game comes out and showing y'all situations where I feel like certain things shouldn't have happened or this should have happened and that should have happened. And, you know, I just got my whole joint, man. So I want to make that be a series that I'm going to have on the channel so when we play certain games or we play comp or whatever, you know, we can do this and that, man. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure you like up the video, man. Look, man, check this out, man. I, I'm not playing with y'all, man. I'm going to give y'all five seconds to like the video up, man. Can I, can I, uh, hey, look. Look, man. Give y'all... Give y'all five seconds to like up the video. Or, or, there you go. Five seconds to like up the video, man. If you made it this far, and put Jim Stars down in the comment section. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Video already been long enough. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chap. Gosh, speed. Damn, that was way more than five seconds. But, hey, we gonna rock with it. And I'm out. Peace. Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't fine I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I could give a hard transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good